here. here. Let's finish this quickly. Here. Let's finish this quickly. All right. Uh, um. uh I still have to go there. Let's finish that. And another part of the event starts today. So it'll take longer to explore the islands. Hey, look! Isn't that the same guy we saw on our first day here? Uh, hang on, it's really low. <laughs> Everyone's gone crazy. Everyone should get out of here. Well, they'll never wake up. But I was right, my precious. <laughs> you are invincible. <laughs> precious? What's his precious? A miracle machine. Definitely not impossible. I think he's referring to that machine. Really? What a drunkard. Hmm. Oh, goodness. The smell of alcohol. Main Fräulein, please allow me to fan the fumes away with my wings. Uh, hang on, this. Oz gets tired of something because he's just a figment of her imagination. Can't he like generate if if it is electricity or wind or something? Perpetual oh, machine. Excellent! Please fan them away for me too. Me as well. Certainly. I've checked the surroundings, but there's no one else here. Isn't that strange? The Fatui is a big organization, but he's the only one left at this camp. What's more, we didn't even see him the last time we were here. Even the larger gentleman from the first time is missing. I think they must be hiding somewhere. As for why they may be hiding, I'm afraid we'll have to ask him. But he's as drunk as Tone Deaf Bard! <sighs> Should we wait for him to sober up? Cleanse him with the Holy Spring of Punishment. What? Main Fräulein means to splash him with water. Huh. Ooh, sounds like a good idea. Let's try. Everyone takes out their water bottles. We have water bottles. Hey, he opened his eyes. Uh, huh? Are you one of the Fatui? Can you tell us what happened here and what that machine is for? <laughs> Fatui? Ha! Fatui! Uh, those blockheads from the administration will regret it now! <laughs> That's what you get for rejecting my research and forcing me to... Forcing me to... To conduct my research on this deserted island. <laughs> My precious! My precious! Uh, why is he crying? Looks like he has a lot of pent-up emotions. You mocked me! And my precious invention! You... You don't know anything about the future! What, we? Mocked you? Only my invention can help us conquer the world! <laughs> 
Idiots. Such idiots. <laughs> Ow! Don't hit me. I won't blow up the lab again. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This man's gone insane. There's no way we can communicate with him. He wasn't like this when we first met him. It looks like the effects have grown worse, to the point of driving him mad. <laughs> My manuscript. My manuscript. Only that can... can save... <laughs> manuscript? Where is it? Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Fischl, don't yell at him. Hmm. Then I'll... <sighs> Let me try. Uh, kind sir, look at me. Now tell me, where did you hide your manuscript? <laughs> no! No, don't force me to write a report! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> uh, he's completely lost in his own imagination! Allow me. Hmm. Please excuse me. Yes, I stand for a while. The choice. Uh? He threw the researcher over his shoulder. <laughs> oh! so. My butt! <sighs> My brain is finally starting to work again. It's. It's not a mushy mess anymore. Can you tell me where you put the manuscript? The manuscript. The manuscript. is in the crack over there. Oh, finally! Otherwise, I was gonna have to blast some of my loudest rock and roll in his ears. Kazuha hesitated for a long time before making a move. He's so nice! Uh, he's destined for greatness. Everyone, let's search the stone cracks nearby for the manuscript. Researcher Kencho senses briefly after Kazuha's stroll, but soon fell unconscious. Did his mental state deteriorate, or did Kazuha knock him out? Uh, perhaps. Congratulations! We found the key to solving the problem. Let me see. Hmm. Well, thanks to us, we must touch. Just yeah. as I thought. This machinery, named cognitive mimicry, is capable of altering the state of people's brains. It was invented by the researcher we met earlier. His name is Persikov. According to the manuscript, the Fatui officials did not support Persikov's research. They believed he had taken the wrong path. But Persikov insisted on putting his machine to use. In order to achieve that, he disassembled the machine and used his connections to transport the parts to this deserted island. How did they find this island? <sighs> the Fatui's intelligence network is not to be underestimated. Persikov was dead set on carrying out his experiments on this island. Most of his subjects were junior Fatui soldiers who all signed a waiver beforehand. It looks like they really thought this machine would benefit the Fatui. How does the machine work? That's most likely top secret. The manuscript didn't reveal any details, but Persikov did mention that the machine was modeled after the power of a god. Uh... So one of them can... No, it could be another one, not one of the seven. Does that mean there's a god connected to these dreamlike mirages and the Fatui found a way to research it? Clearly. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to reproduce the god's power. I said there's some sort of 
Mirage Oracle. Anyway, Persikov's experiment did not go as planned. The machine broke down just days after it was activated. They tried to fix it, but... The technologically illiterate Fatui soldiers completely ruined the machine. Even its most important component of all, the crystalline cores, got ejected and disappeared. So we got to find those. A testament to the importance of maintenance in all aspects of life. I believe we can all learn something from this. Persikov may be a mad scientist, but he didn't want to see his subordinates suffer. Besides, if he didn't solve the problem, he would end up going insane as well. As a last resort, Persikov went out on his own to look for the cores. But he was just a sickly researcher, unfit for the task. He had to give up. Then, Persikov went searching for the soldiers who had gone mad and strayed from the group, and took them to a hidden cave. He wrote all that, all the bad scripts. I think that was where they were at the day we arrived on this island. Persikov was taking a strong Fatui soldier somewhere. Yes, it took Persikov all of his strength to get all the missing soldiers into the cave. He tried to snap them out of it with music and poetry, but nothing worked. We came here once, but there was no one around. Come to think of it, that must have been the day Persikov was busy gathering the soldiers into the cave. There's good news and bad news written on the last few pages. The good news is, Persikov managed to figure out the location of the crystalline cores by piecing together the snippets of information he could get from the delirious soldiers. The bad news is, Persikov failed to revive them and eventually succumbed to the device's influence himself. The last few pages of the manuscript are just unintelligible drunken scribbles. Ah. <sighs> It appears that the responsibility for this issue now falls to my retainers and I. If there's it a purpose, there I thought we'd be saving a day on vacation. There's a map in the manuscript. The marking should indicate the locations of the crystalline cores. Uh. Whoa. Uh, I, I have to turn the things. We've got no choice but to find the crystalline cords now! Oh, we could just leave them. They're just for Tui. Alright, so... Ah, it sparks already. Hang on, did I have to? I mean, uh, I thought... I saw it over there. I thought I had to... Wait to... Sometime. Oh, this up is as close. Okay, so oh, uh, that, oh, uh, that. Uh, so one, a two, and the other one is two and one. Right, left, left, uh, this one is all right, and two left. What? 
to other pets. Onwards. We have work to do. Was it that? Chu. Hey, well. Chu. Uh, no. Chu right. Hey. Or left. Uh, but it seems like those uh, discs always turn to the same side. This should be one of the crystalline cores mentioned in the manuscript. So that isn't really there. place looks sure looks pretty normal guess there won't be anything too weak come on this is quite larger than the other island we were staying don't give yourself away to some people well that's your enthusiasm explain well you know looking for secrets is hungry work everyone knows that and anyway we recently been eating barbecue a lot to save time aren't you sick of that already if we can find some shells or conscious, we can steal them with some fruit, can we? It'll be fresh and sweet and springy. That sounds pretty terrible. Not my cup of tea. Come on. Give it a go. It might open a whole new career world for you to you. What a moment, look over there. That's weird, the device just appeared all of a sudden. Did it? Uh, there's... There's some luggage nearby too. Is that for two gear? Alright, I'm more Pyramon. Good work. Is that part of the... The revenge or something? They aren't talking or anything. Alright, Pyramon was right on the morrow. Wait a moment. There's nothing good about the discovery. If this is for three business, then there's gotta be some scheme of food. If we leave this thing be, things might eventually get out of control. Whatever the case, let's see what we can do about that device first. If, if you think we should, let's have a look through for two gear. Let's do this while, like we always do, and then we can kick back and start looking for something to eat. Is that? Uh, the Raymond Saint Regiment Challenge has three teams: the Saint Raid and Convoy. Complete this challenge and complete this course to obtain the corresponding rewards. You can match make in single player mode to engage in the co-op challenge. Other players in your team may be invited to take part in the challenge in co-op mode. Oh, okay. I do hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. Uh, uh that's it. The new event. Okay. Uh, there are four days for it to open, so after four days I will start playing those. Uh... I don't know if it was here. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, this is the other one. Um, 
The wall, uh, okay, the cape. What? Okay, so it's one, a one, that is, this is right, left, right, and this one was left. Left, right, yeah. I know. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. It's wow. There's a lot of things. No, I'm not reading that. This one. Uh, one, one, two, and one. This is the other one. <laughs> oh, where's the other one? they go we've inserted all the crystalline cores Mona is that all we needed to do 
I think so. That's what the manuscript says, anyway. Let's give it some time. Hopefully it'll return to normal. Proceeds around the campfire, chatty and cooking barbecue. Once the machine is fixed, the situation seems to improve. Soon you hear footsteps approaching. Uh, someone's in a camp! Hey, who are you people? Hold on, look at the machine. Is it fixed? What? But Mr. Persikov is still lying on the ground over there! We're the ones to fix the machine! Yeah, you're welcome! We could have had a nice relaxing vacation if all of this hadn't ended up occupying so much of our time. Hm. Apologize to me and my retainers at once. Uh-huh. Oh no, oh no, I, I'm out of here. What? Hey, hey! Don't leave me here on my own! Mr. Persikov's still there! We need to save him! But they... Are they the famous? They know who we are. <laughs> Those two definitely seem a little more lucid now. It looks like we succeeded. Yay! Let's get out of here then. Paimon wants to spend the rest of this vacation back at our own camp. You mean Chris camp? Yeah, but it feels like our camp now. Kind of like our temporary home. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always traveling back. Then to perhaps we should mainland. call it. The Embassy of the Imanakreish and Dodo Land. Uh. Huh? No! That's too many words! Paimon would prefer something easy to remember. Come on, let's go home now. What about the guy? You know, the machine has to be working forever for things not to go wrong. They should be able to disable it. to thy liking? Paimon's loving it. Wonderful. Main Fräulein invited you all here not only to witness the arrival of our Holy Land, but most importantly, she wished that you could all relax and enjoy the summer. Great. Well, I've come to the right place. I love it here. May this place become an eternal paradise. Main Fräulein says she hopes to go on more adventures with you here in the future. Of course! And you should come find me and Leo when you get the time. I'll show you around. Oh, also, my friend runs the best restaurant in Leo. I'm sure you'll love it. If you're into opera, you should go see Yunjin. She's the nicest person, and she likes making friends with new and interesting people. I'm sure the two of you will have plenty to talk about with your shared passion for theatrics. Oh? If Lady Shinyan speaks so highly of it, then I must entertain the idea. Traveler, I have a suggestion. There's a snack called Roasted Lavender Melon in Inazuma, uh. which goes rather well with fish. Why don't we roast some fruit and seafood for dinner tonight? Okie dokie, that's not great. I've tried it before. Oh? Did you try it in Inazuma? Uh, no, a few Inazuma friends made some for me <laughs> in Liyue. That's great. You know, I want to follow your example and travel around the world. Hopefully, I can also make good friends along the way. No, you? There should be a problem. Uh, yeah, so we can probably meet him. Anywhere, at any time. That's that nice. That means a lot coming from you. Ah, you're all here. 
Well... I've noticed an issue. Although we've fixed the machine, as you can see, the mirages on the islands have still not disappeared. Hmm. I've noticed that too. But considering it took some time for the mirages to appear, it may also take some time for them to disappear. Yes, that's definitely possible. In other news, my scry glass seems to be working fine now. The divination results are also looking about right. Although... What? Although there are some parts in the results that I don't quite understand. It's as if there is some sort of power surrounding us. And it's still watching us. Do you think it's caused by the machine? Or perhaps Persikov? Sorry, I'm also not sure. All I know is that the power is not hostile at the moment. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to harbor any ill will toward us. Uh, that reminds me, there's one other question on the silence, but the group's unaware. There... Okay, thank well, you. Well, oh. although there's nothing left to disturb us, and we can finally kick back and enjoy our vacation, we still ought to be cautious while we're on these islands. I will keep seeing what the stars say every day. I promised Fischl that I'd be her guard. I can help. Good. I'll be counting on you. Goodness knows why those girls are so carefree about everything. I suppose it falls to me to be extra vigilant. I will. Come with me. Oh, coming. Let's go over there. Oh, so we're gonna call the tone deaf bard, right? No, the other person seems more interesting. Well, hello there, strangers. Oh. <laughs> you finally called. I thought you were having so much fun that you'd completely forgotten about me. Usually I do. Nope. Oh, tone deaf bard, a whole bunch of really strange things happened. Uh, you tell me everything that has happened in us the past a few A strange days. machine that can imitate the power of a god? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the Fatui had plans like that. Their imaginations are truly running wild. So, judging from your tone, it sounds like you don't know any more about this than we do. Alas, I am but a humble bard who sings for his mora in the tavern. Why would I know anything about it? Ugh, so annoying! <laughs> but other than that, did you two have fun? We did! We ate a lot of yummy food and saw loads of amazing things! It was really cool! Uh, it was pretty Yeah, for us, it's fine. <laughs> That's good. The point of traveling is to record any feelings stirred along the way. As long as you had an unforgettable experience, this journey has served its purpose. Oh, we'll forget. As for the mysterious voice, although we don't know who it was, not only did she not harm you, she also helped you to gain a better understanding of each other, right? I don't know. If you look at it that way, maybe she meant you well. I mean, if she was able to intercept Alice's communication tool, I'm sure she's also plenty capable of attacking you. I thought it was Alice. Tone Deaf Bard is right. We don't know her. I understand. <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some peace of mind. Just enjoy your vacation to the fullest. And don't forget to tell me all about the marvelous mirages when you get back. I want to record all these beautiful memories and turn them into ballads. Every summer will become an unforgettable song. Uh... So, every summer, we're going to have another adventure over here? And he's not here to record those beautiful memories because he didn't want to. Then I'll just wait for your return. Happy vacationing! Hmm, if Tone Deaf Bart thinks it's okay, then maybe there's nothing to worry about. After all, Tone Deaf Bart is still a god. We should probably trust him. Meh, maybe. Let's head back! We don't want to keep everyone waiting. Why well, shouldn't he know something okay. about who is the god of the power? Did earlier that she's going to catch some crabs? Oh, Paimon wants to go too! Now, 
you have solved the mystery. Doesn't it make you feel happy? Satisfied? The voice. I won't need you to hurt us. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just a little bird that sometimes flies by these islands and am now watching you from far, far away. I just so happened to sense a power here that has something to do with me. I was curious, so I landed on the beach to quietly watch everything that took place on these islands. It was fascinating. The ones who came here to work were so busy, and yet, I still saw genuine smiles on their faces from time to time. And then all of you arrived later on, bringing your glorious dreamscapes and wonderful willpower. Your dreams are like the pure and delicate bubbles floating on the water. The more beautiful the illusion, the more it fascinates me. I'm not able to travel myself, but I do admire free spirits like yourself. So, I helped them design a little something for you all. I hope you liked it. Who are you? As I said, I don't have an agenda. I'm just a little bird. I stopped here to admire your lives, joys, sorrows, and all. You are a special person with a unique and brilliant glow. I decided to communicate with you in this way because I'm really curious about you. There's no need to wonder about my name. Maybe one day in the future, we will meet in another place. When that time comes, I think you'll be able to recognize me. <laughs> The voice is faded. Was she directly hey, speaking her mind? The crabs don't catch themselves. What did she mean? Oh, Dangro. Need another place, but when and where? Uh so I think it's that tiny elf. <sighs> Looking girl, there was on the launch screen. Uh, now it's over. Nobody here. Okay, now it's over. So now let's see that one. Ahoy there! You're finally here! I've been waiting for a long time. Even my deck is getting burrs. Uh, nothing that matters because you're just figuring out my imagination then because of the mirages. But this boat! Does this boat even have a deck? This is a dinghy at most! Ha ha ha! Who would have thought that I, the notorious pirate ship commanded by Akko Domeki, would one day end up like this. So, you're a big pirate ship? Uh, but who's Akko Domeki? What? You don't even know who Akko Domeki is? Uh, I may have heard of them. I... I think it's the, the one who hid the treasures around. Uh, Sekodomiya. Ako Domeki Simon, Defender of Serai! The name of the most feared pirate ever to sail the seas! Oh, who would have thought? Nope, the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Alright, Nitaboru, you told us to come here, so tell us, what is this all about? It feels so weird being called that all of a sudden. Uh, you see, as I said, I'm here because I drifted here. So I'm thinking my original body must be nearby. It uh. feels strange using the word body. <laughs> but I do need to find it as soon as possible. I've lost track of how long I've been sleeping here. But I'm certain my companions will still be waiting for me. I need to find my body, get ship shape, and return to them as soon as possible. Hi, <laughs> but I can't make it there on my own. 
After all, a talking ship is just a ship. It still needs someone at the wheel. Let's make a deal. You help me find my body, and I will help you find treasure in return. Treasure? I'm a pirate ship after all. Call it a pirate ship's intuition, or some kind of sixth sense. Either way, the moment I woke up, I could sense that this area is filled with valuable treasures. You have my word. A pirate ship always finds its treasure. Arr. Or may I be blighted with barnacles. What say ye, me hearties? Do we have an accord? Let's help beat the borrow. If he finds his body and we get treasure in return, everybody wins! Uh, he hit with treasure, huh? The feeling that I swing it for you. <laughs> so, will you help me or not? To beat the light. Great! Well, there's a place I wanted to go to as soon as I woke up. Based on my pirate ship's intuition, there be some big treasure hidden there. Arr, let's head there and search for it. Time to set sail! Uh, do I have two? Uh... Maybe I should have teleported there. Uh, if this doesn't take too long, I may start to take to explore the islands and get the items, the collectibles and stuff. I'm pretty sure I explored this shipwreck last time I've been on these islands. Oh, Mitaboro had better not be lying to us. Hmm. Guess it's time to go back and ask our friend a couple of questions. Uh, how do I talk to it? How did it go? Did you find anything valuable? <laughs> Meet Baru! There's nothing on this island except for a shipwreck! What kind of intuition is that? What? No! 
Impossible! Ah! I know. It must be because I've been sleeping for too long, and my intuition is not as sharp as it once was. Uh... As the saying goes, nobody's perfect, and certainly no boat's perfect either, right? Cut me a little slack, huh? The next place will be the one. I'm sure the next place will be full of treasure. It better be. No more playing tricks on us this time. You have my word. But, um... Uh. The next place is a little far away, and I'm not sure of the precise location. All I know is that it's somewhere northwest of here. But there are so many islands in the northwest! Oh, you gotta give us a little more than that! Wait a minute. If you mean one of the larger islands, there are only two of them in the northwest. Uh, the island for framing statues. The island where musical flowers grow. No, oh, where are hmm. statues? Now that you mention it, I do sense the cawing of ravens coming from over there. But not just the sound of ravens, no. There be music as well. To be precise, the cawing is coming from the east, and the music is coming from the southwest. So, you're hearing two sounds? Ugh, where could this darn treasure be? But where can you hear the sounds from both islands at the same time? So, where did he show? But he can hear the sound from the treasure's location, not from where he is at the moment. Oh, the you're Charlie. right! Yep, that's exactly what Paimon was thinking, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so sure. Then let's go over and take a look. Ha 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 ha! You know, I must say. It seems you two are quite close. I uh, unfortunately. You bet! We've been on loads of adventures together and found lots of treasure before. Pam is the best company we could ask for. Pam is the best guiding activator. Yeah. Ah, if only I'd been able to speak back when we were sailing on the sea, then maybe I would have been able to communicate with my companions just like you two. You seem to have so much fun together. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right. Time to find the center location of these two big islands. Uh, but is it marks already on the map? Oh, uh, it's marks already. Okay. So, big deal. I have to find location. And here's the rest of the ship. Are still here. <laughs> um, 
working on rest. Uh, maybe there I could. Get a rest here. Nice. Uh, there was a lot of part of the ship still. I don't remember. Well, surprise, surprise! There's nothing here either except yet another shipwreck. Well, half a shipwreck anyway. Oh, there should be something the ship was carrying. Maybe boats have a special platonic bone that draws them together. Yeah, that's What better. does that mean? I don't know. Oh, like they're ship friends. Hey, why don't we take a picture of the boat and show it to me, Taboru? Oh, isn't that like taking a picture of a corpse and show it to then he somebody? Then confirm whether it's his body or not. Hey, is this your dead body? Your corpse or not? Perfect. Beautiful picture. We have the pictures. Come on, let's go back and show them to Mitaboru. Oh, Mitaboru? I think she died. There you are. How did it go? Did you find something? Let me guess. You found a huge. Oh. A huge load of nothing. Oh, I dropped the cannonball again, didn't I? Same as last time. Just another shipwreck. Maybe they're parts of your body. We took pictures of them. Take a look. Uh, shut the picture. Is this a painting? I didn't <sighs> know you two could paint so well. Just look at the detail. Down to the smallest blade of grass. It's just like the real thing. We didn't paint this. We took it using a camera. So it was drawn by a machine through some high-speed mechanism. Uh, so even or... the mighty pirate ship has never seen a camera before. Well, is it that a new What are you technology? trying to see? It's not like I haven't seen similar things before. It's just like the hell paintings in all of those legends. What? But anyway. What's that thing in the middle of this picture? That's the shipwreck we found. Take a look. Could it be your body? Hmm. Hmm. Ha! Impossible. Where did this sorry ship come from? It's a total wreck. You may not know this, but I'm considered as the mightiest pirate ship of the Akodomiki fleet. My hull is made of the best wood found on Seirai Island. The edges of my frame boards were refined with folding saws so that the pieces fit together perfectly. Then they were joined together and reinforced with large rivets, making me indestructible. There's no way I could end up like this. But... Your intuition led us to shipwrecks twice in a row. It's probably because of the special bond between all boats that draws us to one another. Before they run aground, these ships may well have been self-aware, too. The remnants of their spirit is most likely what I sensed. Mm. Anyway, this can't be my body. My body's probably docked at a hidden port somewhere in these waters. You'll see. My side panels are painted with the finest lacquer. Arr, what a majestic sight I used to be. 
Once we find it, you'll realize how different I am from this shipwreck in your picture. That sounds great! We should go for a cruise together sometime. I don't know. Uh, that's for sure. I can't believe I sensed the wrong thing twice in a row. The lack of maintenance has really taken the wind out of my sails as far as my intuition goes. You have to apply cork once in a while if you want a long-lasting voyage. That goes for people, too. Uh. What the heck is cork? Is it the glue that holds all the parts of the ship together? Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon, you're a funny one, aren't you? No, but you're not that far off. Cork is the stuff we use to fill the gaps between the planks to stop water from leaking into the ship. Uh. It's made of rubber or something. Every once in a while, you gotta cork the gaps as part of the maintenance. Uh, just like all people need a good rest once in a while. Uh. Exactly. Which reminds me, I got some good rest when you two went on that little adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to sense where the real treasure is now. Third time's the charm. Time to get serious. We'll definitely find something this time. I'm unsure hope so. Anything will do at this point. What's wrong, Paimon? You don't sound like you believe me. Anyway. This time, I sense something in the southeast, on the sea surface. It doesn't feel like something very big, and that raises the chances of it being a small but valuable item. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's go. All right, so I should die. Our bond is strong. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Is she healing? Uh, around here. Mitsuburu felt like it should be somewhere around here. Hmm. Could it be this reef? It looks kind of small. Uh, but let's go check it out anyway. Surely you found something this time. Have I finally convinced you of this mighty pirate ship's razor sharp treasure hunting senses? Uh oh. All there was was a bird's nest. So, yeah, technically there were a couple of eggs, uh, but that was all. I think that's better than cabbages. Oh. Just, uh. Just the two, you say? Really? So this is the valuable treasure you were talking about? <clears throat> Paimon, you may not be aware, but the mightier the pirate ship, the longer its voyage at sea, you see. Eventually, the only food available on board is dry fish. At times like this, a couple of bird eggs on a reef nearby can easily become the most valuable treasure to a crew. Taboru. Uh, your excuses are so late. Okay, fine. But how the heck did I end up sensing eggs? How strange. I swear I sense something. But there's nothing else on the reef. Could it be these two planks? Seems like they were used as a shelter. Hmm. Paimon wonders where they came from. Wait, this plank. Oh, a feeling he took the moment to touch the plank and nearly painted a whole glowing warm rays of sun, dosing in his plume. Oh, okay. Pulling tall lines, a powerful force dragging you downward faster and faster until suddenly, boom. It remains suspect, followed by the sound of something heavy descending and floating up again. Suddenly, you are surrounded by the cold, freezing, and suffocating. Uh, all of a sudden you realize that this is the sea, and, that it, and that's where you've been drifting for the rest of your life. Then comes a hearty laughing man, 
try maiden it's another mighty ship it deserves a nice name and he's answered by a helpless sigh i hope the ship will bring you back safely so i shall name it after this place what happened what was that was a someone's memory <sighs> I know where this plank comes from. Traveler, Paimon, what you saw just now was my own memory. It was my first time sailing on the sea after I was built. The crew used greased planks to create a slipway, then launched me into the water. The thing is, it's really hard to control the angle at which the bow launches onto the water. It could very well break if you're not careful, which is why most people choose to launch the ship sideways instead. These two planks, or should I say, these two side panels, they must have been the first parts of my body to make contact with the water. Mitaburu, um, if your side panels are here, does that mean... You're full of shit. And your body is completely broken all around here. Maybe I crashed into the reef here and was shattered to pieces long ago. And maybe the sensation I had when I woke up wasn't some kind of treasure hunting intuition after all, but me responding to my own body. There I was, making fun of that shipwreck, blissfully unaware that I was actually making fun of my own body. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, how embarrassing. We don't know that for sure. Maybe... Maybe your body is still in one piece. Yeah, these two planks are probably just... Uh, um... Uh, uh, part of your family tree! So, boats have DNA memory, like in Assassin's Creed. You mean your wood relatives? Yep, could share the same roots. Even if it's not, there are loads of shipwrecks around here. These planks probably just belong to one of them. But... Oh, there are other possibilities. I... Uh, thank you. Both of you. By the way, Mitaburu, wasn't there something about your name mentioned in that memory? Do you remember your name now? Oh, it's a pity. But I'm afraid I didn't see much more than you did. I still can't recall my name. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not too bad. You and the Traveler can keep calling me Mitoboru. It's a good name. Sure, Meatball. <laughs> of course it is. Paimon picked it after all. So, Mitoboru, is there anywhere else you want to go? Although I can sense two more places, I fear it will be the same situation as before. No treasures, only some driftwood. It doesn't matter. Well, in those places, in this place, can't we use the power of imagination to rebuild its body temporarily? Arr, or but I swore there'd be treasure in this deal for you. Hey, it's okay, Mitaburu. We're friends now. Friends don't do deals? Of course friends do deals. Why friends can't do deals? Well, in that case, whether it's treasure or not, let's hope you two can find something rather than nothing there. Let's find it away. Ha <laughs> ha! Good! Let's go to the closer location first. You mean, let's start by killing the troops. Sure enough, no treasure here. Uh, does that really matter? 
treasure isn't the be all and end all. Paimon oh. knows that. Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed. That's all. There's a wooden sword here. It looks like a children's toy. That is perfect for Paimon. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. Why not? I think it actually may be, may be this wooden surge. Feeling strikes you when you touch the wooden surge. Waves several me meters high slam against the side of the ship. The cracks caused by the impacts from the battle are aching. Uh, there is noise all around you, everywhere. An enemy jumps onto the deck, making the ship lurch. Give up, Zymo. Surrender now, and I'll spare your life. Surrender impossible. At this very moment, the man holding a barbed spear looks surprisingly calm and determined. I am Zymo, the deathless Oni of Serai. Is he? Was he actually an Oni? I am a proud seaman. I will never live in the mercy of my enemy. Neither. Of them sees the far end of the battlefield. Neither of them sees the purple lightning unfurling like birds' wings engulfing the sky. So, oh ah, yeah, it's okay. It was Sarai. I they were ta talking about the name of the place, but I wasn't thinking about. Uh, is the Thunderbirds Island? There is a blinding white flash, a roaring shockwave that overturns everything. Your body is thrown into the air as you are stripped of all senses of direction. Only an endless thunderstorm follows. Whoa! That lightning was really powerful! <sighs> What's this memory about? Fight? Hyman can still here. feel her head spinning. Ugh. Shiver me timbers! I remember now! The sea battle between Akodomiki and the Shogunate! And then the lightning that came at the end of the battle! Oh, oh what could it have been? Oh, what's left of the Thunderbird's wrath? Will blow me down! Just a fraction of the Thunderbird's wrath, and yet still so powerful! Wait! But the lightning came from Seirai Island! Traveler, have you been there? Do you know what happened to the island after that? Oh, you told me the world war. I... Did you really have no. to have advanced this story that far? I did can't I? believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, oh, I don't have the words to describe the horror. I think everything in Sarai Island was optional so far. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island. And in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden. Why? Wait. So that thunderstorm was the reason I... The reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. The Shrine Maiden is the one Neko is waiting for. It took all my strength to get here. Aw, me to Boru. But what about the wooden sword? What does this have to do with it? This wooden sword is made from my broken timber. Zymon once seized a sword-wielding Magu with his barbed spear. The Magu drifted here with us. The wooden sword was oh. probably crafted by local children imitating the Magu sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things! Arr, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaboru, should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, there's no point taking this now. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubbers got me this time. 
Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved, too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mateys who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. So, what are they broken up all around? Aye, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body. Uh, well, I... Uh, I'll start the archipelago would be okay we don't know for sure it is but i thought it would be like around here since every time we got there was from mustache and, and he said that those were made from the top of the mountains of mustache okay it's not impossible or anything but i would guess that being destroyed here being damaged here the ship would get be somewhere around here before going all the way up there. I didn't pay attention when he introduced himself to us. I thought he was a different ship than ours. But no, he's then the spirit of a wrecked ship that is possessing our ship. Is the last place somewhere around here? Aye, most surely. The precise location seems to be in that house on the beach. Wait. Why a house? Don't tell me some land lovers turned me into furniture. This. There are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but they don't look like what we're after. Oh, could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips with a wooden mallet next to it? Uh, this is a musical instrument. I think you hit the wooden strips with a wooden mallet. This is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to me to borrow? The intact wood strips made a cool and crisp sound, while the damaged wood strips only made a muffled, heavy sound like ordinary wood. Paimon's pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitoboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him! You're back. How did it go? Did you find anything? Show the wooden boots. This is rates. indeed my last piece. But what the festering fish bait have they turned me into this time? We think it's a musical instrument, but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Is that so? Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. Uh, I think we could have Kazuha fix it somehow. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey, what kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? It hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. 
It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. Find the index part of the musical instrument. The feeling strikes you as you hear the crisp sound from the wooden instrument. You have been drifting for a long time and you are seriously damaged. You can't say any further. Rather than pain, you are overwhelmed by regret. But, Miharis, why are you looking at me like that? Is it because you have to go back and follow me? Don't cry. How can we say goodbye to it when we are crying? One of you says, everyone begins to sing. Uh, if we're going to sing, don't be quietly wiping away the tears. If you're going to sing, smile and be happy. Arr. Arr. So, they found a way back. Aye, but since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me hearts to know that they are safe, but I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere, no matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world, waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here, abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. Uh, that's how parties go, I guess. But they say goodbye to you with a smile. Laugh when you feel like crying, and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you kindly. I'm afraid, though, that they seem to have taken most of the treasure with them when they left. It doesn't matter. But your memory is the most important thing. Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Not for us. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again... We'll be here for you whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Of course. Fantastic. Thank you both. And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. Uh, so, did I got a permanently talking boat while he returns normal once we exit the silence? Alright, so now I've finally finished the stories. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna start exploring now. Uh, let me just open the internet here because I have an interactive map to check. Oh, that's a lot of things. Uh, uh. Damn, there are different shapes for each island. Uh... Uh. Oh, hang on.
Okay, let's start with that island. Oh no, let me take a look at something before going exploring the islands. There may be some other thing I should do. That's done. That's the flash. Those. Even shop. I probably don't have things to trade here yet. Yeah. Yeah, you got those to complete. Yeah. Yeah. I think I gotta do those. Let Let's start with those. Okay, I'm here. No. No, third. Uh, what? What did I just spend? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I have to jump. No? Okay. Uh, and I have something there. I can use... Oh, okay, so that's it. Okay, now I got it. No, 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 no. Okay, that works. I didn't pay attention. Was it time based? Okay, is that good? Is that bad? Is that. I usually see a metal over there. Uh, one time. Oh, okay. Time, time. Destroy two obstacles. Okay. Ah, oh, good. Right next to Brian. Traps cause by just bashing them or uh, those. Okay, uh, no, no, uh, it's here. No, it's not that. What? 
Uh, oh, that is more cautious. Uh, okay, that is more cautious. Okay, oh, it's here. Okay, now use surf picture surge four times. I think that's the boost. rock here. Oh, I thought I could break it. Professor should just stab the ground. Yeah. But anyway, the timing thing should be quite forgiving. Uh, four times and go fast. Oh. 
Oh, the first one I came on the box. Okay. Now, the last one? No, there's two more. Oh, hang on, I didn't read. What was. What do I have to do with this one? Uh. Destroy obstacles. Ah, uh, kind of close. Ah, uh, nice, they're here. Uh, I'll talk to them. Yeah, I remember that I could meet. Uh, I just remember meeting Albedo after the last event here. I could probably meet the, uh, some of the others, but I don't really remember. Uh, okay, I think I remember why I saw Diluc as well. Now, destroy six obstacles. Uh, oh, I crossed the archipelago in this one. No, I did cross the archipelago in the last one because I... I started on Northwest and in the Southeast. Maybe I should have broken those. Okay, I don't really have to grab all of those, but they only help with breaking. mentioned something about his pieces. Uh, okay, I've broken them already. Was it fast enough? Yes. Uh, 
here, 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 and done. Okay, that was quite fast. I like those. Good. Now, let's see. Complete three times. Decrease the cooldown flowing. Three times. You find a challenge. Uh, unleash eight flowing. Let's just check the others. Complete using travel forwards. Okay, a bunch of names that I have no idea what they are. Uh, I'm gonna have to complete everything three times at least. Attention on site to activate the placement menu. Ah, uh, I can just. Oh, so I can ch change the islands. Can just the mountain stone on the left and right of the mountain side. Because I will a bunch of undergo matching changes. Uh, one cause of bother that I mess with his small side. Oh, he's still left my hand or something. The sound of nature is so relaxing. There's nothing more to worry about. You want to chat? Sure. What's on your mind? I don't know. About drinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was days ago. I'm surprised you still remember. Fine drinks belong in the same space as poetry and elegance. To lose myself like that in the tavern? It was truly humiliating. The sound of nature is so relaxing. Sure, what's on your mind? Uh, about your past? Right, about that. After these events, I suppose I've bid a formal farewell to my past. Don't worry, I feel just as fine as I did during the times before. I am burdened by neither grief nor regret. I appreciate these twists of fate from the bottom of my heart. You're so chill. Thank you. Can I take it as a compliment? Certainly. I'm so happy to have a friend like you. Let's shift our focus back to the scenery in front of us. Oh, and take yeah. a good look at the clouds and waves before we leave. The sound of nature is so relaxing. Great sure, chat. what's on your mind? But it's it's had vacation. its ups and downs, but ultimately, it's been quite rewarding. If Beto and the crew ask me about our experiences, I suppose I'll tell them about the squirrel and the ship spirit. As for stories about my new friends, I'll keep them to myself. That's the good. end of every journey marks the beginning of a new adventure. I'm sure this is a feeling you are most familiar with. Keep moving forward. That's the important thing. Just like you, I have a lot of hope for the future. The sound of nature is so hey, relaxing. I want to serve you. You must be tired from the past few days. Take a well-deserved rest. Uh, rearrange. Just let me check how is this. Ah, uh, okay, those pieces are here. Ah, uh, so I can make... Ah... Uh, Interesting, okay, but no, this is what I'm going to do now. Uh, damn. Uh, can I change my party here or... Let's go to my... Usual... Party. Or... Passing challenges. Oh. 
Kafka. Is it those? Okay, there isn't anything to find here, but there is one treasure chest I didn't discover there. Okay. Uh, I never actually built on those treasure track treasure chest trackers. Uh, 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 uh. uh, how does those work? Uh, what damage you put in fixed area? The flowing the flash of the winter cooled down after being used. During this time, using character elements Q and burst experience certain talents to provide boosts that can decrease cooldown. Trips as Verger. We will only appear in the challenge. Pick a different version, so obtain different buffs. When blue Verger greatly increases your character's jumping power, allows plenty new attacks. Red Motor is damage. Cold Splinter is limited skill. Cooldown. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm keeping those characters with my best artifacts at the moment. Or best weapons. Uh, oh, I think Diluc is still using my strongest surge. Yeah. I, I just read those. Now you shall perish. I need to train harder. Bested. Oh, why is there a guy here? Teach me a lesson. This is order. Verdict is. Ah, that was it. Ah, okay, there's more. Solidify. Let's dance. Inazuma shines eternal. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be any chests in here. Okay, okay. Stabilize. I'll protect us. Order guide you. Torn to oblivion. Order guide you. 
Change, 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 change. Torn to oblivion. Quake. Yeah. Illusion shattered. Well protected. Solidified. Shine down. Stabilize. Inazuma shines eternal. All right. Uh, how many? Just two hundred. You'll be unable to obtain more once you shall leave, but though I just keep completing the same thing until I get that. Um. Uh, if it's just that, I'm not gonna do them all live here. I may mean, just let me check. Okay, that was for using that. During the final challenge, I had to use eight times. I used only seven. And I just, if I just delay longer to. Uh. No, the second one. But there's this one now. Ah, oh, it's together. I thought it would be different. Why is this? No, no. Let's go. Um, if it's the same layout, I. It isn't the same layout. But then I would know. I reached the end. Solidify. Nice, the last one. This is order. Illusion shattered. This isn't good. Gather. Burning this. Torn to oblivion. Order guide you. Stabilize. Let the show be. Inazuma shines eternal. I will have order. Gather. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. Shine down. Uh, it was just the final one. Uh, but I got what I needed. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't really read what was written here. Is it just... No, I didn't see those. I didn't see them. It was just a final fight. Uh, and let me see. Did that. Uh, I don't know how many times I used. But I used eight times. Okay, so now just once more and I complete that. But I still gotta keep doing it until... The world. 
Make sure I get you too far. Alright. Okay. For home now. Uh, uh, yeah, but I don't know how fast this will be. Maybe not as easy as this one. Uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll complete those other two. And then I'll see when I explore the islands. But maybe I'll do Deluxe Quest before exploring, fully exploring the islands. Uh, uh, let me just see here. What do I have here? Oh, hang on. What what do I need for this? Is oh, sixteen conscious. Okay, that I have to find around here. So this I can't spend here without any issue afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I I'm quite tired. I think I'm gonna eat around here. And then tomorrow I'll get the rest of this those challenges from the event. 